Boy, it feels good to be back making content for y'all. Poker fans, we're here to talk about episode 62 of Pokemon Rises, and I know I've been gone for for years at this point. Okay, it's been a minute. Okay, but I, I, I'm if you haven't watched my live streams, and you probably don't understand or, or, or have any inclination to what exactly happened, um, there was a hurricane that passed relatively close to Puerto Rico. Uh, you know couple months ago at this point and while we didn't get any damage per se uh, it did cause a lot of power outages and a lot of power issues at our house right and the aftermath of that is that my laptop that I use to make videos for you all is basically dying I have not found a location to fix it yet um, or at least one that's at a reasonable price right Especially because of the fact that this computer is old as fuck, right? So it's it's one of those things where it basically just, just doesn't charge. So I'm pretty sure it might be the battery that's the problem. But in order to deal with that, I need to find out exactly what kind of battery this computer uses in order to order one and then change it. And then if the, But if that's not the problem, then that's just money that's wasted. So it's like one of those checks and balances thing, right? So because of that... All my video editing software and everything that I have to make videos is on that machine, which is still here, right? It's still on the side, right? It still, it still works. It just doesn't charge, which means that I use it as sparingly as possible, only for emergencies. Um, and it took me a while to migrate my stuff, at least as much as I feasibly need for the foreseeable future, from that machine into the computer I use for streaming, right? Uh, in order to make content for you all, right? So I think I got what I need for now, right? On this computer, right? The one I'm using right now, with, you know, the one that connects to this camera that's up here, you know, because the computer's down here, but the camera's up there. Anyways, um, so enough rambling, okay? You guys came here to listen to me talk about Pokemon. And not only just Pokemon, but the Pokemon anime, and not just the Pokemon anime, but Pokemon Horizons anime, which, as you all know, the last episode review I did ended off on a sour note, okay? I was not happy with what happened in that episode. However, okay, I'm so glad that coming back, it's a damn good episode that I actually freaking enjoyed, right? I, I, I was ecstatic, and, and I, I, I want to admit something for you all here. Uh, coming back, I, as soon as the opening kicked off, okay, I got that wave of nostalgia, which is weird, because it hasn't exactly been that long since I haven't watched the series, right, it's only been like two months, which is still a relatively long time, okay, I'm way behind on videos and episodes, so it, it just felt a little weird, <laughs> but like as soon as the, the, the opening kicked off, I was like, hype this fight, right? It, it, it was, I don't want to say exhilarating because that just sounds weird, but it was a, a sense of joy that I, I guess I, that I needed, right? When it comes to the show, especially after where we left off. So, and then on top of that, the episode was just good, okay? I really liked the episode. Um, I love what they did with Roy. Nimona, I'm really liking Nimona in the anime, which I've been saying this, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, I've, I've been stating that I really like Nimona in the anime, um, unlike the game, where in the game she was ass, but <laughs> at least in terms of the show, she's a, she's very fun, um, and I like her personality, I like the way that, that she connects, especially with Roy, right, I think that the chemistry between the two of them is probably the best, which feels weird, because you would think, the way they were setting it up, that it was going to be Nimona and Liko, because Liko is technically speaking the primary protagonist of the show. Um, but no, she has a lot more in common with Roy, and I'm glad that they did all that stuff. Um, and they, they even had a little gag with her, right? Where she's like, you know, that's time to train. And they're doing like this running marathon, and like at the beginning, she's like in the front. <laughs> and then Liko and Dot are just dead, 
right? They're like, they can't anymore. And then, like, Roy's ahead, right? He's just running through the... <laughs> and they're like, whoa, where's Nimona, right? She must be so far ahead. And then they find out that she's behind them, and she's already dying back there. And I'm like, bro, this is how you do a character, okay? This is how you flesh out a character and, and, and make her more interesting, okay? Give her depth. That's one of the things that she didn't have in the game. She didn't have depth. She was boring as fuck. <laughs> but I love the training sessions that they did. I love the, the stuff that they were doing. And they still managed to tie it back to Roy. And I love the backstory. Listen, Roy is my favorite character on the show, right? I've been saying this since the beginning. Okay, Roy is my go-to guy. He is my favorite character in Horizons. And the fact that they had this episode here to flesh out his backstory even more and and they showed off his parents and we get to learn more about his parents and like they're fucking sailors which you know kind of fits the motif that they live on an island so you need to have fishermen and people that deliver stuff on boats or or bring stuff on boats so that, that was cool right and and the fact that the Roy's love of singing comes from his parents which is what allowed him to connect with Fue Coco and I was just like bro this is what I needed Okay, this is the comeback I needed. Two months away from this shit, and I got a good as I was like, can you imagine? Can you imagine? I've been gone for so long, and then I come back, and the episode was ass. Bro, I would have been done, right? I would have been like, no, no, I'm gone. <laughs> but to come back, and the episode was this good, reinvigorated my affinity for Roy. Right? It really helped flesh him out. It helped him grow, right? So I do I admit the Rhyme and Roy battle was like I think kinda weak. Okay, that's like the weakest part of the episode. It wasn't bad. It's just that I expected a little bit more. Although because of how late into the episode it was, I thought that there was it felt like it had to be rushed a little bit because I honestly think it would have been better to just have like a full blown like episode to like flesh out Roy give him this backstory and then also like expand on his character make him grow and learn from everything and then do another episode where the actual rematch happens but obviously because I don't know why they decided to do it this way but I, that's how I would have done it okay so the battle itself wasn't that good um like it wasn't terrible like I said but it wasn't that good and, but I want to state that the new song I hope that doesn't become the standard okay because it, it compared to the Fue Coco song that we've been having since like all this shit happened, right? The go go Fue Coco, like bro, that song is legit. I, I I would get goosebumps every time that man will start singing that with Fue Coco, right? The the whole like go 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 or, or whatever the fuck they were saying, like it wasn't that. Good. I personally think and there was no lyrics here. Okay, it was just just like pump it up kind of shit. Um, like that was whatever, but I still like the connection between Roy and Frank Coco, so that's that's like the only positive part about it. But <laughs> he passed, right? He passed his implementation test. So there was a thing that I that I want to state here in this episode review as I'm coming back because I obviously I don't know too much about everything that happened in the past couple episodes, right? And all the ones that have happened in the last two months. Um, but I I have seen some spoilers regarding Liko that I'm assuming they're going to explain it when it happens, right? Because that's like next episode. Um, but they made it sound like you just don't necessarily have another chance to pass your test if you fail, right? If you fail your test, then you're done, right? So the implementation test, if you don't succeed, you're, you're done. So that worries me because of what I already know that what happens between Liko and Drusha. Um, but I'm assuming they're going to explain it hopefully in the next episode when I watch it eventually. But if it is what I'm thinking right now, I might not like the outcome as much as I would expect because I had a certain way of how I was thinking how these tests were supposed to go that concerns me if they do what I think they're gonna do now after knowing what I know now with this episode, right? So obviously you guys hear me talk about it when I watch that episode and when I review it for you guys. Um, I don't know how I'm going to structure the videos, if I'm going to do them daily, or if just every couple of days, because I need to catch up, right? Because I'm behind, like, over 10 episodes. 
So I'm still going to, I'm going to figure out a way to do that, right? I'm going to coordinate and then you guys will see them as they come out, right? <laughs> uh, but that's going to be it for this review. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am officially back, hopefully, without any other issues happening. Um, but I've been your boy, Soros Croxon, and I will see you guys in future videos, streams, shorts, and everything in between.